Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today. You will notice I do have some props. I have one very stable kitchen chair, um, probably with four legs that you can at least get a little bit under if you need to. Um, most chairs do have four legs, <laughs> mind you. Uh, you'll notice I've got uh, two thick bed pillows, but what I've actually done is taken two thinner bed pillows and stuffed them in one pillowcase in case you don't have big bed pillows. Uh, these could be couch cushions, they could be rolled sleeping bags, just anything that provides kind of a big bunch of soft support. And I've got two folded blankets. That's for extra support under bits and pieces and also for warmth over the body. So feel free to press pause and go grab your supplies. And if you don't have a solid chair, this might not be the practice for you, um, though depending on your setup and how we use it, you could find another bit of furniture, like a couch when we put our legs up, or even um, sort of like a footrest or something small uh, when we lean over it. So we can, we can be flexible here, it's yoga. So we will begin um, by moving into a reclined supported pose, and we're gonna use the chair for that as well, but in all of these practices, it's all optional and really depends on how you feel. So I'm gonna move the pillows out of the way for now, though it might be nice to have one under your head, but these are quite thick ones. So if you prefer a blanket under the head, it might be a better height. And then depending on sort of the boniness of your hips and whatnot, sometimes it's really nice to have extra support under your hips. So I'm gonna place a blanket there and a blanket here. And this could be a pillow, this could be a pillow. Um, maybe the easiest way to get into this pose is to lie down on your side. Yeah. And then you might have a bit of the blanket under you from your side, and then you could roll onto your back, putting those legs up, and again, making any adjustments here, support beneath. And how you get into this might look different than how I did, that's okay. The idea is just that we get here. Um, everyone's legs are a different length, so this may or may not um, kind of land where you need it to. You could always put, you know, a, a pillow on your chair so that your heels aren't floating like mine. You could put a little more support under your hips or less. You'll notice I'm dressed really warm, and that's because these poses are not meant to be warming. They're meant to be cooling, as in we're going to chill out. So... I'm wearing a hat, I'm wearing leg warmers and a sweater. So if you're noticing you're a bit cool here, add more layers, add a blanket over your body. And perhaps closing your eyes and noticing if you are comfortable. And if you're not, just continue to play a little bit, adjust. Explore, seek your own comfort. Mm. And once you've found that comfortable place, again, closing your eyes, perhaps becoming still. Now let's begin to tune into the breath. If it helps, bring your hands to your belly. Soft inhale, feel the belly rise. Slow exhale, belly falls. Keep feeling the rise and fall of your abdomen as if this were the only, the only game in town, the only thing going on, the only thing worth paying attention to. And this can be enough.
soften your belly to receive that inhale. And soften the whole body to let that exhale go. Returning again and again to the movement of your own breath within your own body in the present moment. So here we are now. Breathing and feeling. Let's offer five or six more breaths just like this. Inhaling deep, exhaling slow. As you complete those breaths, if it suits you, perhaps bring a hand to rest to your belly and one to rest towards your chest. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. Given by your own giving hands, landing in your own body. Releasing those hands, or perhaps wiggling fingers or toes, circling wrists or ankles. Please know that you could stay in this pose for the entire practice. You can stay in any of these poses for as long as you are comfortable. If you are ready to invite a little more movement, we might bend our knees they might rest on the end of the chair. Or maybe we bring our hands to rest on those knees. Maybe there's a little bit of rocking. In our restorative practice, we're always looking for that sweet spot of openness before stretch.
And as your knees come to center, maybe resting the feet on the edge of the chair, you could give yourself a hug and let the weight of your arms soften your chest. You know, breathing into that space between the shoulder blades, letting even your shoulders rest. You could switch the arms here of your hug and let the weight of the arms soften the chest, even shots, soften that space between the shoulder blades. And then we'll slowly roll over to one side, resting your head on your arm. And then slowly making your way upright. Yeah. So we'll move a few things out of the way. And then prepare for a little bit of movement before our next pose, which will employ the chair. So I have made enough space that I can move back from the chair. I'm going to place the hands on the mat behind me and you could take them quite wide. You could even turn the fingertips to point out and notice the feet are about hip distance apart and the knees are bent. Yeah. So we're going to do something a little bit like cat cow, but from this position, so you're going to press into those hands and gently lift the heart, maybe tilt the pelvis forward slightly. It kind of feels like a little arching through the back, a little opening to the front. We'll do the opposite. I'm dropping my chin down towards the chest, letting that chest drop, the belly drop, kind of rounding forward, tilting back. And now we'll do a few more of these movements, lifting, arching, and slowly rounding. We're still looking for that openness before stretch. I know this can be very strong through the shoulders, but this is the last one and then we are going to rest those shoulders. So let's sit up and we'll prepare for the next pose. Uh, so a few things here, uh, much like when we put our legs up on the chair, it might feel nice to be elevating the hips. So sitting on a folded blanket. So that's gonna be my seat. I also might want extra support um, on top of this chair. And then I've got these pillows to either side. And you might simply watch the setup or you might be moving with me. Uh, one of the bigger challenges is to get my bum onto this folded blanket, so however you can get there. And then a few options here. Um, as you can see, I can get my legs in between this chair and that might be a nice place for me. Uh, I could place a pillow under those knees and it might put me where I need to be. Um, and the reason we might bring the legs under the chair is because the other option is to take the legs to either side of the chair legs. And in honor of openness before stretch, this might feel too stretchy. So that's where we'd bring the legs in. But the other thing I'd like to offer here um, is again to bring pillows under the knees. Yeah. And this allows a nice bend in the knees. Um, and that gives the hamstrings a bit of slack, which invites um, the pelvis to be able to stay upright. If those hamstrings are quite tight and the legs were straight, we might be rounded back here. But the idea is that you're sitting upright on your sitting bones, yeah. So again, you've got your legs to either side of those chair legs supported by pillows, or you've got your legs inside the chair legs with a pillow under the knees. From here, I'm just adjusting sort of how close I am to the chair because I'm going to be resting forward on the chair now. Um, so for some of us, we want to be quite close to the chair so we don't need to round too far forward, especially as we sit upright here. Some of us are going to want to reach further for that chair. You know who you are. You can push the chair further away um, or wiggle yourself back further. So now I'm noticing what support I need. So I could start by crossing the forearms, resting the forehead. 
Just noticing, again, openness before stretch. Is this comfortable? Can I rest here? And would I prefer to have my forehead on a blanket rather than my forearms? And maybe resting those hands somewhere else on the chair. Yeah, so again, everyone's gonna have a different pose, different shape and different supports. But once you feel relatively comfortable, the next sort of test of your comfort is to close your eyes and assess your comfort from the inside out. Making any adjustments to increase your comfort. Eventually becoming still. And tuning into the breath. And because the abdomen, the low back, the waist is free, there's nothing, no floor, no supports pressed into it. And as you inhale, I want you to imagine expanding in all directions, into the waist, into the back, as well as the belly. Exhale, feel the weight of your upper body resting on that chair. Inhale, expanding in all directions. Exhale, kind of surrendering to the support beneath you. We're keeping our practice very simple and focused on the breath today. So in this pose, as we rest here, I wanted to add a simple count to the breath. Perhaps with the inhale, we count to two. With the exhale, we count to three. You can choose the pace of that counting, but again, to focus the mind, to nourish the nervous system is as simple as inhaling for a count of two, exhaling for a count of three. Each inhale, we feel the body expand in all directions. Each exhale, we soften and settle into the pose a little bit more. Each inhale, feel the belly, the back, the waist expand. Exhale, let the whole body soften and settle onto the support beneath you. Okay. 
of two. Exhaling, count of three. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. And for example, maybe that next exhale you count to four. The next exhale, count to five. And so on and so forth. A couple more breaths. You complete those breaths please know that you can stay here for as long as you are comfortable if you're ready to move on again wiggle fingers or toes return of the wrists or ankles we will slowly slowly bring our spine back upright and then just to slowly lean back into the hands to get those legs together yeah we can move off that folded blanket and I'm going to once more invite some movement that is completely optional. And organizing those props again. And I'm going to push this chair away if I can, yeah, to make a little more space. Leaning into the hands, feet wide. I'm gonna rock the knees a few times. Especially if those legs were apart. You know, just checking in with the hips here. slow breath through the nose if you can and any of these movements you can even close your eyes drop right inside and I'll invite one more bit of movement here um, so sitting any any comfortable way so it might be that you want to keep your knees bent here or you want to bring the legs out in front or whatever um, I'm going to bring the hands to my sides and see that I can stay upright a little bit. And then leaning into one hand, seeing if I want to reach the other arm up. And then bring the hand down, other side. And again, notice I could stop here. And I could reach a little higher through the elbow. And I could reach through the arm. And then returning back upright and we'll do this a few times again kind of just being as fluid as you can and moving as little or as much as is comfortable and 
Adjusting your position for more comfort. And starting to open gently through the side body. And moving slow can really be helpful for the body to gently open and allow for these movements to feel comfortable and easy. We're gently wooing the body with a slow pace, with an easy rhythm, and with the opportunity to continue to move in and out as opposed to staying in a pose and trying to kind of force or hold and keep a little bit of movement going. Maybe once more in either direction. And knowing that these movements just help prepare the body for the next pose. All right, so you'll come back to center. If you need to, lean into the hands, rock the knees again. I know the lower body can get a bit tight when we're seated, trying to move the upper body. Yeah. And so you can probably guess that the next pose is a supported side bend, and that's why we did a little movement to that effect. And so again, I can show you how it's set up. You can move into it with me, or you can kind of watch and see. And thankfully, you can press pause anytime you want. But what you'll notice is I'm going to stack one of my pillows like so. I'm sitting sideways on my mat. If you ignore this one, then it's like my legs are off the side of my mat. My mat is long like so. So I've got one pillow right up against my hip. The other one I'm going to leave to the side because I think I'll place it between my knees. But this is where um, we need to notice. I'm placing probably two blankets here folded. Um, and I've got a little space. So there's a space from where my pillow ends and my blankets begin. And that's going to be a space for the shoulder and arm. So leaning into this pillow, I'm going to hoist my legs to the other end of my mat. Notice they don't need to be perfectly stacked. There can be a nice stagger there. I know I love a pillow between the knees. This could be a blanket. And there could even be a second pillow or blanket under here. So what you'll notice is I'm lowering myself down, sort of sliding my shoulder into that space and then noticing if the head feels supported at this height or whether I'd prefer a little less support. Um, and we're looking for a side bend here. So if this pillow is too squishy, which I'm noticing it is, we could place a second pillow, knowing that the weight of your body is going to squish those pillows down. And then if that's the case, I would use the blanket between the knees if that's something that's required. So again, I'm going to drape the side body over, see if I can get that shoulder into the valley here. And if we find that it's hovering, we've got the option of placing a blanket under it. Or again, this might mean too much support under the waist. So I'm going to doubly fold my blanket so it meets the side of my head where I want it. Yeah. So again, we're looking for openness before stretch. And this pose might get too stretchy. So if you're already in that solidly open position, um, you know, you might keep the arm down by the side to, to kind of keep it there. You might rest the arm in front or behind. Yeah. Um, if you do feel like you want a little more openness, you could reach the arm overhead, resting onto the head. Yeah, so here we are, opening the top side of the body or the side body. And it might feel a little bit different to invite those deep belly breaths here. We've got compression through the low side of the the belly, the waist, the back. And then we've got this openness um, through the side and the rib cage. And the rib cage has these intercostal muscles in between. And they're in an open position. So as you start to invite that inhale into the belly, you're going to stretch a little bit through those intercostals. And that's where that openness before stretch is key. 
Yeah, so continue to adjust as you close your eyes here and start kind of acclimatizing to this openness through the top side of the body. Acclimatizing to the way the breath influences the sensations here. As we inhale, that sense of openness grows. With the exhale, like we're sinking and settling onto the soft support beneath us. And closing our eyes, tuning in to the breath. And continuing to focus on the movement of the breath. Let's imagine our breath as an invitation for us. Each inhale is inviting us to kind of reach our awareness out to our toe tips, our fingertips, the crown of our head. Each exhale is inviting the whole body to sink and soften a little more earthward. Inhale, feel your awareness flowing out to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head and everywhere in between. Exhale, the whole body sinks and settles. Notice if you can stay with the invitation of the breath as we rest here. Inhale, expanding awareness all the way to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head. Each exhale, that whole aware body softens and settles earthward. Letting this be enough to breathe and to feel, to expand your awareness throughout your whole body, to let your whole body sink and settle, fully supported. Your mind has wandered, that's okay. Come back to the invitation of the breath. Inhale, expanding your awareness. Exhale, deepening your surrender.
And we'll offer five or six more breaths, just like that. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, please know that you can stay in this pose for as long as you wish, for as long as you are comfortable. If you are ready to move into this pose on the other side, maybe wiggle fingers or toes. And eventually, locate that top arm. We're going to place it on that bit of pillow sticking out so you can push into it to come upright. Yeah, you can go nice and slow here. Get that other hand under you. Yeah. And so notice what you need here. It might be as simple as turning yourself around and moving into this pose on the other side. Or you might want to lean into the hands, rock the knees a few times. Yeah. You might need to invite that bit of side bending if you want to. You know, some folks need to move a little between these poses and some folks don't. And so move for as long as you need to. And I will guide us into this pose on the other side. I'm gonna move my props to the other end so I can Stay focused on the camera. And so I'm bringing those pillows over here. I know that I've got that nice tight fold in the blanket for my head and the other blanket for between my knees. A lot of restorative is keeping your props organized. Yeah. And so leaning in and then draping the side of my body onto those pillows, finding a connection here with the outer arm and shoulder, finding a connection here with the blanket to support my head. And again, if we're already in that place of openness, we might keep the arm at our side, in front, behind, or reaching overhead. And continue to wiggle and adjust. And maybe as you close your eyes, feeling the pose from the inside out so you can continue to make adjustments. Your comfort matters most of all in this practice. And so even seeking comfort takes practice and continue until you're comfortable. And now we're feeling the top side ribs receiving a gentle opening. We might feel those intercostal muscles the way we never have before that are in between those ribs. You might feel a sense of openness somewhere else, like in the side of the shoulder and the waist and that top hip. So being curious, you know, about how, how this openness feels and how as we inhale, we might feel a bit of a deeper stretch, a deeper sense of openness. As we exhale, can we soften and settle onto all of the support beneath us?
And this is where we begin to imagine that the breath has an invitation for us. Each inhale is inviting us to expand our awareness out to our toe tips, our fingertips, the crown of our head. Each exhale is inviting us to soften the whole body, surrender the whole body to gravity. Each inhale, we feel awareness reaching out in all directions, finding our own borders. Exhale, that whole body softening and settling, resting earthward. So let's stay with the invitation of the breath for the next few minutes. Inhale, expanding your awareness throughout your whole body. Exhaling, softening and settling your whole body earthward, surrendering to gravity. If your mind wanders, that's okay. That's what minds do. But perhaps come back to the invitation of the breath. Each inhale inviting you to expand your awareness right out to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head. Each exhale, surrendering a little more to gravity. Let your whole body Soften and settle onto the support beneath you. Breath after breath, expanding awareness, deepening surrender. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, 
please know that you can stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to invite some movement, maybe it's the fingers or toes. Maybe slowly bringing that top hand to press into the floor here, yeah, getting that elbow under, and just as slowly coming upright. So it's time for our final, final relaxation, which will likely look a lot like the first one, uh, but it could look a little bit different. So um, I will offer a few more suggestions if you want to play with them. I will suggest that you bring that chair uh, to your mat. If you've got the chair leg right on the sticky mat, you kind of know it's not going to go anywhere. Uh -huh. You'll notice I've got a blanket on top of my sticky mat for extra warmth. Um, so I mentioned sometimes the heels want a little more support, so I'm going to notice how it feels to maybe place uh, my heels on that pillow. And we elevated the hips last time, but maybe we actually want to elevate them on a pillow this time. And then we've still got plenty of support under our head. And if you're like me and you've gotten a bit cool, um, we've got this extra blanket for warmth. So in this case, it still is a bit awkward getting our legs up the chair. Um, and we've still got options. So it might be that you want to kind of be sitting on your pillow um, before you lie on your side. And then lying on your side, again, we're gonna go nice and slow. We might get the shoulder down before we roll onto our back, before we get those legs up. Yeah. So really depending on your own mobility here, how we can kind of ease into the comfort of these um, supports. Yeah. And you'll notice my knees are less bent here, but I do feel nice and supported. My legs aren't going anywhere. So it's a bit closer to a legs up the wall position. I've got a nice support under my hips. Yeah. They're slightly elevated, but not so much that that neutral spine can't hopefully rest comfortably. Maybe placing a little support over my belly for warmth or even just for connection here. Again, there's that opportunity to close your eyes, to feel this pose from the inside out, to notice if you're truly comfortable and continuing to adjust, to seek your comfort. And once you are comfortable, continuing to breathe through the nose. And keeping our practice today completely breath focused. Beginning to tune in to the rise and fall of your abdomen with the breath. And this is effortless. This is a process of inviting the breath to deepen and lengthen by softening the belly, allowing that deep expansion. And softening the whole body with the exhale letting it roll out on its own. Starting to kind of trust the rhythm of this natural relaxation breath. Feeling the rise, feeling the fall. Experiencing the movement of your own breath within your own body here in the present moment.
Well, let's add that gentle count of the breath. Inhaling for two. Exhaling for three. One, two, in. One, two, three, out. Focusing the mind even more with a simple count. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one, two, three. If the mind has wandered, that's okay. For a few moments more, let's continue that gentle count of the breath. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one, two, three. As we rest here for a few minutes more, perhaps we layer that invitation of the breath. Each inhale, let's reach our awareness out to our toe tips, our fingertips, and the crown of our head. Each exhale, let the whole body soften and settle onto the support beneath us. Inhale, you are invited to reach your awareness out to your very own borders. Exhaling the whole body, letting go. Just a little bit more with each exhale. And so as we rest here for just a few more minutes, each inhale invites us to expand our awareness. Each exhale invites us to deepen our surrender to gravity.
Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, please know that you can stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If it suits you, maybe rest a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. And again, offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you given by your own giving hands. Uh, so this is where I will leave you. Um, when you are ready to move, maybe it's fingers or toes, wrists or ankles, a yawn, a stretch, slow turn of your head, even a hug. Oh, a yawn. And again, move nice and slow. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, any concerns, always feel free to let me know and reach out to the Everyday Counts program. Thanks again. See you soon.